Hey guys! So I'm putting this together for you so you can get through the recon part of the Bioman Cell Explorer. Um, as this goes through in the video, when you get to each organelle, you should pause it so that way you can copy down what it says into your worksheet and be able to finish that up. Again, I'm sorry that it was not loading for everybody. It loads perfectly fine on my phone and here in my Chromebook. It just has to be a Wi-Fi issue. So this should help everybody get finished up um, if you need to use it. So here we go. We have recon. Click on the space bar. We're entering through endocytosis. Okay, Let me click here to continue. All right, now that you're inside the cell, you must shoot the cell organelles and structures to learn more about them. All right. So I'm going to start here with the cytoskeleton. The cell skeleton. The cytoskeleton is made of microtubules and microfilaments. It helps maintain a cell structure and shape. That's a function right there. So you're going to write that or type that in. Sorry, type that in to your worksheet. It helps maintain a cell structure and shape. So what you should do is pause the video here so you can type that in. Okay, I'm going to go to the question. The cytoskeleton is not involved in. It's only involved in structure, shape, and movement. Okay, it can help some things move around the cell. It is not involved in making energy. So when I click A, you are correct. So go ahead and pause the video here so you can type in making energy to answer the question for cytoskeleton. Okay, next up, we're going to shoot a lysosome. Okay, so lysosomes have enzymes that break down or digest things in the cell. That's the function. They break down or digest things in the cell. You can pause it there and type that in. They digest and destroy viruses and other invaders. They also help digest food particles and recycle cell parts. Okay. Let's take a look at the question. As a pilot, you should avoid lysosomes. Why? Well, they digest things. So let's see what option here deals with digesting. They digest invaders <clears throat> and other materials. Well, that sounds like an option. Transport substances out of the cell. No. Steal energy from invaders. Not really. Produce toxins that poison the cell. Nope. So we're going to try for A and see if that's correct. That is correct. So for your question answer, you should type in lysosomes digest invaders and other materials with enzymes. Go ahead and pause it. You can type your answer in. All right, so I got to get away from the lysosomes. Okay, so we're going to shoot at these ribosomes here. Okay, so ribosomes make proteins. That's their function. Go ahead and pause it. Ribosomes make proteins. That's their function. Okay, proteins do many critical jobs in the cell. We learned that in bio A. In fact, cells cannot live without proteins. Ribosomes use the instructions written on RNA in order to make proteins correctly. Let's watch the animation. So here's a ribosome. It's reading the protein code, which is RNA. And what you see appearing here at the top is a protein. Okay, so that protein is gonna make its way to the cell and perform a specific function. Okay, what would happen if the ribosomes in the cell were destroyed by Dr. Bile's evil scheme? Okay, the cell would be unable to produce glucose. I didn't read anything about glucose. The cell would no longer be able to produce proteins. Okay, so I made a protein. That might be our option. The cell would not be able to make enough ATP. We didn't mention ATP. The cell would not be able to make lipids. Okay, so it has to do with proteins. Let's try for B. B it is. That is correct. So go ahead and pause here. You can type in the answer, which is B. The cell will no longer be able to produce proteins. Okay, so we're going to fly from there. And let's shoot at the rough ER. Okay, the rough ER is covered with ribosomes. This is what makes it look bumpy. The rough ER is involved in transporting proteins. The proteins are sent away from the ER in vesicles that transport them to the Golgi. 
So if I summarize that, it seems like this structure here is involved with transporting those proteins that ribosomes made. And it makes sense because look, all these little structures attached to it are ribosomes. What would happen in the rough ER if the cell was destroyed by Dr. Vile? Okay, so let's look for something about transporting proteins. All right, this talks about glucose. That's not what we want. No longer able to send proteins to Golgi. That sounds good. Not be able to make ATP. Nope, we didn't talk about ATP. Would not be able to make lipids. Not that one. All right, let's shoot for B. B is correct. So go ahead and pause it. You can type this in. The cell would no longer be able to send proteins to the Golgi. All right, so let's get moving away from the lysosome. All right, we're going to come here. Let's shoot at this one. This is the Golgi. The Golgi receives vesicles containing proteins that were sent by the rough ER. So the organelle we just looked at, the rough ER, transports proteins. This is where they end up. So what does the Golgi do? The Golgi is then going to modify the proteins and send them where they need to go. This is the function. It modifies the proteins and sends them where they need to go. So you can go ahead and pause and type it in now if needed. What would happen if the Golgi bodies in the cell were destroyed? The cell would spontaneously combust. Yikes. The cell would no longer be able to make cell energy. The cell would have difficulty processing and transporting proteins. Sounds good. Deals with proteins. The cell would not be able to store DNA. All right, let's click the one about proteins. That's correct. The cell would have difficulty transporting and processing proteins. So go ahead, pause your video. You want to type in the answer for the question for the Golgi. Okay, so we're going to make our way over here. Check out this one. This is a mitochondria. All right, so the mitochondria. What do mitochondria make? Okay, we see ATP coming out. Let's click that one. Let's see. Mitochondria makes ATP. ATP is cellular energy. What is ATP? Cellular energy. Okay, so our best option for that one is A. A is correct. The process of making ATP is called cell respiration. We learned that in bio A. Respiration uses the food you eat and the oxygen you breathe to make ATP, carbon dioxide, and water. Remember, we covered our mouth. We breathe out. You feel the heat, the moisture is water, the gas is CO2, and you get some energy from it. Okay, to make ATP, mitochondria needs to take in, if we look here, we need food and oxygen. Okay, so here's food, here's oxygen. Both food and oxygen are option D. Let's click that one. That is correct. So you can go ahead and pause. What's needed to make ATP is food and oxygen. All right, click on the green question mark below to see which organelles and structures we still need to find. Okay, so let's click on it. We still need, I'm going to jot this down so I remember. My old lady brain. Okay, we need the nucleus. The nucleolus. A vesicle. Is that it? And the cell membrane. Okay, so let's handle business. We have four more left. Return to the game. Okay. Get the heck away from the lysosomes. Yikes. Okay, so let's shoot at a membrane. All right, so here's a cell membrane, also known as the plasma membrane. The plasma membrane is the boundary that surrounds all cells. All cells, all living things have a cell membrane. Here's its function. It regulates what enters and leaves the cell to ensure that the cell maintains homeostasis. That's its function. Controls what enters and leaves to maintain homeostasis. Okay, we'll learn later on in our module seven that it's selectively permeable meaning that it chooses what passes through, some things cannot. Okay, so if we zoom in, 
won't let me zoom. But you can see here, some things get to pass through like gases, other big molecules cannot. That's selectively permeable. Okay, why is the plasma membrane critical to the survival of the cell? Okay, has to deal with entering and leaving the cell. So our best option there is C, the cell membrane regulates what enters and leaves the cell. So let's double check. That is correct. So you would want to pause the video here and type in that answer to the question. The cell membrane regulates what enters and leaves the cell. Okay, so let's get away from these lysosomes. We need some ATP. All right, let's let's shoot this vesicle. All right, so here's vesicles. Vesicles transport substances such as proteins where they need to go. That's its function. They transport proteins or other things where they need to go. Vesicles are like vehicles. Ha ha ha! So cute. Okay. Let's look at our question. What is the primary function? Make proteins, nope, ribosomes. Make energy, nope, mitochondria. To make the rough ER rougher? I don't think so. To transport proteins and other substances? Absolutely. Let's double check. That is correct. So you're going to want to pause the video here and select D, or type in D, rather, to transport proteins and other substances. Okay, let's click here. All right, we got some ATP. Maybe we'll get some of this ATP. Let's get over to the nucleus. Uh-oh, uh-oh, lysosomes, get away from me. Get away from me. Trying to go through and around. We get in the nucleus here. The nucleus. The nucleus holds and protects the cell's DNA. DNA is a genetic material for the cell. DNA carries the information and the instructions that direct the cell. Okay, so this is the function of the nucleus. It holds and protects the cell's DNA. It's a very important job. DNA never, ever, ever leaves the nucleus. Okay, so pause it and type in that function. Why is the nucleus important? It's useful for making cell energy? No. It contains and protects the cell's DNA? Yes. It's the site of protein synthesis? No. Okay, so let's click B. Excellent. Specifically, the DNA has instructions for making RNA. Let's play the animation. Right there's DNA. There's RNA. We picked B. Play the animation. Oh, there we go. There's DNA. It made RNA. RNA gets to leave the nucleus. And then RNA goes to those ribosomes. Remember, they make what? They make proteins. There's a protein. Okay, so what is the main function of DNA? DNA makes RNA, which makes proteins. So which one deals with that? So DNA has the instructions to make RNA. RNA makes proteins. All right, C sounds good. Okay, so C is correct. So go ahead, you could pause that there and type those sentences in. DNA has the instructions to make RNA. RNA is used to make proteins. Okay. The nucleolus. We're finally at the end here. The dark spot in the nucleus is the nucleolus. You could see that from the cell view. The nucleolus makes ribosomes. That's its function. So go ahead and pause that and type it in. The nucleolus makes ribosomes. It is important because ribosomes, we just saw, make proteins. What would happen if the nucleolus in the cell was destroyed by Dr. Vial? Everybody's related to Mr. Vial. Um, Dr. Vial's evil scheme, they would not be able to produce glucose. Nope, didn't read about that. The cell would no longer be able to produce protein or ribosomes that are needed to make proteins. 
That sounds good. The cell would not be able to make enough ATP through respiration. Nope, that deals with the mitochondria. The cell would not be able to make lipids. That was not mentioned, so let's go with B. You are correct. Click OK to move on. Um, let's double check our question mark here. Oh, we have to do the smooth ER and then we are done. All right, so let's get over there. Some ATP while we're at it, we're getting low. All right, let's do the last one. The smooth ER, not to be confused with the rough ER, they're very different. The smooth ER makes lipids. Lipids are like fats, oils, waxes, phospholipids. The smooth ER makes lipids and performs other chemical reactions. It also detoxifies poisons. Okay, here's your functions here. Makes lipids and performs other chemical reactions. It also detoxifies poisons. You want to include all those things because those are all important. Notice it does not have ribosomes. Okay, so it is not involved in making proteins. Nothing to do with proteins. Look at the picture. Lipids come out and toxins go in to get destroyed. All right, what's our question? What would happen at the smoothie R if the cell were destroyed? Okay, so if the smoothie R were destroyed, we would no longer be making lipids or destroying toxins. So what option goes best with that? I think that that's going to be D. The cell would not be able to make lipids or break down poisons. Let's select D to see if we're correct. We are correct. Go ahead and pause the video. You want to type that last statement in for smoothie R. And mission complete. Okay, so we've completed the recon mission right, for a score of 100%. So if at any point you needed to go back because you missed an organelle or you couldn't get to an organelle, I know a few people had a hard time getting to the nucleolus, um, you can use this to help you finish your worksheet. And when you're done with that, go ahead and turn it in. Have a great day.